Hi, my name is András and this is the Rec Hacker's Guide for making your own bicycle panniers from plastic cans. We call this the cannier. These homemade bags are the best we have ever tried on a bicycle. Let me show you how easy it is to make one. We learned about this kind of panniers 10 years ago while preparing for a cycling trip to South America and we have been using them ever since. But then we started feeling that the cannier deserved to be used more widely and took on the mission of spreading the word. This new design is part of that initiative. We called on our favorite visual artist Agnes, an expert on minimalist visual communication. Together we wanted to create something people can connect with we want to prove that anyone, including you, can make your own unique cannier. Let's give it a closer look. It has a separate lid that is attached with straps. The same strap is used for the handle. It is suspended on two hooks and it is locked in place with a simple move. Plastic cans have many benefits compared to sack panniers. First of all, these are packing. Have you ever thought why motorbikes use hard cases and bicycles don't? Well, it's time we started. For one can here we need two identical plastic cans and a set of parts. What you see here is the parts package that can be ordered on our website, but we committed to only using parts that can also be found in hardware stores, so you can easily copy it if you choose. Parts come assembled in functional units, like this. A stiff UV resistance strap with stainless screws for fixing and YKK strap adjusters. It comes with multiple holes to fit different size cans. Straps are cut with a CNC laser to have precise spacings and sealed edges. A pair of steel hooks. Available in different sizes and covered with heavy duty plastic to protect the rack. A clamp and the one-eyed rabbit plate. These will fix the cannier on your bike completely, something that you cannot say about conventional bicycle panniers. The middle part of the clamp is plastic and the one-eyed rabbit is laser cut from stainless steel sheets. A quick release. It is used to tighten the cannier onto the rabbit. You can find detailed description on how to make your own part set on the Rec Hackers website. Plastic cans can be found at restaurants, car washes, laundries and, of course, selective waste collection centers. That's where I usually get them. On the first one, we need to make an opening on the top. Leave a little bit of the curved edge on because it keeps the can ear rigid. The second one is only used as a lid, so it is cut much smaller. Let's remove the burr after cutting. Let's try the lid on before marking the holes for the strap. If there is flash where the washers would go, we should remove it. Let's mark the place of the screws. Once the holes are ready, we mount the straps. Normally I prefer white cans because scratches will turn white independently of the color and they are not visible on the white ones. I am using a blue one for filming because of the contrast. It already looks like a bag.
Let's check where our heel passes by and then find the right position for the canyon. The height should be set around the top of the rack. If we tilt the canyon forward, we can slide it closer to the center of the bicycle, which is a good thing. We leave the hooks hanging freely on the rack with a little headroom for correction. Let's mark the holes for the hooks, then we can mount them. Now it already hangs and we can carry stuff in it, but it can still move around. The third point of suspension is very important because it locks the pannier in a fixed position. Screw the clamp and the one-eyed rabbit steel plate together on the rack. Leave the open end unobstructed because that is where the quick release will slide in. Let's hang the pannier again and mark a dot at the bottom of the opening in between the rabbit's ears. We mount the quick release. Let's set the right tightness for the quick release with the nuts. A little amount of pressure is enough and we don't want to make it hard for ourselves to open and close it. We are done. The canyon is in its final shape and ready to take a beating. I'll leave a few extra shots from different angles to give a better idea of how it looks and how it works. On the rack that I am using there is a tube that goes around on the outer side. If your rack doesn't have that and comes with only these tubes, it is recommended to mount another clamp to give an even support for your canyon. This was all. Your short and efficient journey to having a pannier that is resistant to shock, cuts and abrasion, it is waterproof, long-lasting, easy to pack, easy to clean and completely fixed on your bike. I hope this video convinced you that Things you make with your own hand can be better than other professional products you buy, even if you make them from discarded plastic. Please, share your canyon on social media and tag us to help spread the word. Thank you. Video is done, but we keep working to make the canyon even better. Please visit the Rack Hackers website for updated information on the parts.